All right, Steve Nemeth here for Fat Guy Fitness. First off, uh, I want to give props to Daniel Dun uh, Dunnan, I believe is how he says his name. Uh, he was the first guy that I can see anyway. It looks like five years ago he had the uh, had the name Fat Guy Fitness. So props to him. He, uh, he used the Fat Guy Fitness thing before. Uh, I seen a couple of those videos. Uh, you know, not bad, not bad. Um, why Fat Guy Fitness? Well, uh, just because I think it's kind of easy to remember, right? Fat Guy Fitness. Um, and, and then you know the other question is like why why Fat Guy Fitness? If uh, you know, let's, let's digress a little bit. It's that time of year, right? Right now, it's uh, January 4th, 2021. Uh, the new year is upon us. We got through the weekend. We got through that crazy 2020 year. And uh, as usually happens this time of year, people are starting to think about, uh, I want to lose weight, right? And that's how most of us think about it. That's how most of us talk about it. And um, so why me? Why this channel? Um, well, first off, why me? Well, because I'm just like you, man. I'm a, I'm a regular guy with a weight problem, like 70 plus percent of Americans, right? Uh, I'm a former Marine who uh, was once uh, 235 pounds and 8% uh, body fats. And uh, like you, uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I am where we are now, right? Uh, life has happened and it has gotten us to where we're at. And uh, I will talk about, well, a little bit more about my background. Um, years ago, uh, I used to be a personal trainer. Uh, I worked for a couple of different uh, health clubs. Um, I enjoyed it. Hours were kind of different. You know, sometimes I would have clients earlier in the day, and then I would have to turn around and come back later in the afternoon uh, because I'd have clients that would have evening appointments and stuff like that. Uh, enjoyed it. I liked it. Um, what I liked about it the, the best, probably my favorite story about... Um, when I was a personal trainer, was uh, I was was training at a gym in uh, Taylor, Michigan, and this uh, gentleman came in. Uh, it was probably uh, I want to say Novemberish time frame, maybe early December, and he said to me, uh, "You know, Steve, I like to ice fish, but obviously I'm older and I'm out of uh, out of shape, and uh, I I can't even walk out on the ice." Uh, because I lose my breath and blah, blah, blah. And I, I just want to be able to, to walk out on the ice uh, and feel capable of doing that and, and to be able to ice fish. And uh, unfortunately, I don't remember the gentleman's name. If he ever comes across this video and happens to remember me in this story, uh, uh, you know, forgive me for not recalling your name. Sure, it's been many, many years, obviously. Uh, hopefully you're still with us. Um, but I told him, I said, listen, you know, we'll, you know, we'll call him John or Fred, whatever, for uh, for the sake of argument. I said, listen, Fred, man, not only are you going to be able to walk out on the ice and ice fish, you're going to be pulling the shanty with you, right? And so I set him up on a, uh, on a program, kind of like what we're going to do, what we're going to do. And the, uh, the upside of the whole story is not only did he achieve his goals, um, but uh, and the reason probably he sticks out in my head the most is I was going to a movie theater uh, the in, there in uh, Taylor. I want to say it was the AMC movie theater at the time. And, uh, you know, I hear this guy, Steve, Steve, Steve. And it, it, it turns out it's Fred, right, or whatever his name was. And uh, he's there with his family. He, he felt compelled to, to bring his family over and introduce them to me. Very, very beautiful family. Uh, and say, hey, this is the guy. This is the guy. And like I told Fred, and like I'll tell you, I'm here to help. I'm here to help. I, obviously, I need to get myself there. So part of this is it's going to uh, it's going to obligate us to each other, right? Uh, in order for me to be able to do videos uh, for you, saying, hey, here we are, here we're progressing, blah blah blah. I'm obviously going to have to stay on track, and uh, hopefully, you'll like. Uh, the videos and subscribe and uh, stick with me and, and give me comments. I want to know how you're doing and I'll do my best to try to read them and try to give you feedback. Uh, but we need to be here for each other. Uh, and it's 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 good to, to, to be committed to somebody and have to answer to somebody. Um, you know, I think as a personal trainer back in those days, what was nice was my clients had appointments with me and, uh, you know, if they didn't make it, I called them. Hey, you know, Steve, where are you at? Uh, and, of course, there was a financial obligation. Even if they didn't uh, show up, they still had to pay for, 
you know, my time and stuff like that. So it's good to be committed. It helps to stay on track. And we'll get into that more. There's some other stuff that I want to cover uh, before we get into that too much. Uh, it is my goal to not only help you uh, and, and to motivate you, but also to help myself. Because uh, like I said, we're in, we're in this together, right? So, uh, I've, uh, you know, life happens. We get to where we're at. No, not, nobody said, you know what, I want to I get out of shape. Um, and I want to put on weight and I, I want to lose energy and I just want to feel lethargic and I don't want to be as active. I just want to lounge around and blah, blah. Nobody says that. Nobody says that. So, um, you, you know, I'll talk about what we have to do to get us going. But, and here's the key. Here's why me. Here's why why you should stick with me through this is we're, we're, we're see what happens. Most people don't realize this. What happens is. You kick the can around for a while and you think, you know, I need to lose some weight. And some people might even say something to you like, hey, you know, you know Fred, you need to lose some weight or whatever. And, uh, yeah, and you're like, yeah, I know. But, you know, and then we got all the excuses and all the reasons why we don't do it and blah, blah, blah. Well, right now is important. And, and to be honest with you, I really, you know, I don't have the best equipment and stuff. I wasn't really at a point where I wanted to start doing these videos because I wanted them to look far more professional and blah, blah, blah. And that's really why I, I meant to start doing this years ago, to be honest with you. And I just, I didn't for that reason. Well, I, I'm taking excuses out. I'm just going to, we're just going to do this. We're going to do this. I'm committing myself to you. I'm going to try to start doing these videos. Um, to help motivate you because, you know, you need a little different motivation from day to day and that's going to help me. It's going to help you. So um, that's what we're going to do. Okay. Uh, I, I am going to do my best. I'm going to endeavor not to make these uh, videos too long. I know people don't like to get tied down watching videos. And at the end of the day, watching a video is not going to help you. I'm going to throw some information at you. I'm going to uh, show you some exercises that you can do at home. Uh, in the beginning, it, it, especially we, we've gotten out of shape. It's been a long, long time since we've been to a gym or a health club or anything like that. And uh, maybe we're a little, you know, shy about getting in front of people where we're at right now. And we, you know, you get in there and you worry about you know, how much weight am I lifting and blah, blah, blah. And you're waiting for machines and stuff like that. Um, I encourage you, I get into that more later, but I, I I'm not saying not to join a health club. Health, there's benefits to that. We'll get into that more later. Uh, there's some stuff we need to cover first before we start getting into actually like the routines and stuff we're going to do. But we're going to talk about uh, we're going to talk about nutrition. We're going to talk about exercise, and more importantly, we're going to talk about success. Um, uh, my first piece of advice to you. Okay, this is something I always did as a personal trainer. This is something when I was going through my training. Uh, to, to be a personal trainer and uh, you know, I don't have any of the modern certifications or any of that crazy stuff going on But you know when I was going through my training back in the day uh, We always encourage people to uh, seek the advice of a, a physician a licensed doctor I still very very much recommend that not a big fan of doctors not a big fan of medication um, but uh, going to a doctor is a good idea for a lot of reasons mainly because I, and I'm going to use an analogy here. I, I do that a lot, so prepare yourself for that. Um, going to a doctor is like going to a mechanic before taking your car on a long trip. Um, you want to make sure the car is ready to go. You want to make sure you're ready to go. Let the doctor get in there. Let him get around underneath the hood and stuff and see what you got going on. There's some key things you should be looking for. One, uh, it would be nice if it's you're at a point uh, in time when you can do so. Get a stress test done. Find out where the ticker's at. Find out what you can do. I This is going to be very low impact in the beginning. Uh, it's going to take us a while to get there. Listen, here's my philosophy. Nobody got fat overnight, right? Nobody got overweight overnight. It didn't happen. It took you a while to get where you're at now. And as much as we'd like to take a miracle pill or snap our fingers or do whatever else, you're, it's not going to change overnight. This is going to be a long haul thing, right? But before you get discouraged and turn this off and never come back to it again and give up your thoughts of weight loss and all that other stuff, as you've done in the past, understand I'm going to help you out with how we, we're going to, this isn't going to be a diet. And I'm going to get into talking about diets and stuff. I don't know if we'll have enough time in this video here. But, uh, I, you know, I'll let you in on a secret. First off, all diets. I have yet to meet a diet 
that did not work. What? True story. I've yet to see a diet that does not work. They all work. The problem is they're not sustainable, and we'll get into that. And then we'll get into what it takes to legitimately lose weight. But more importantly, and I want you to start thinking about this now too, and this is a key for you and your doctor, and hopefully you've got a doctor, you've had it for a long time, you trust your doctor because that's kind of key, and uh, you got a very good rapport and you guys are on the same page and, and all that other stuff. But if you're not, if your doctor's kind of new for whatever reason, um, one of the things, and, and anybody that we enlisted in, to help us, uh, because I'm going to kind of encourage some of that too, uh, the more the merrier, the more people supporting you in your efforts, the better. If you have a significant other, family members, um, friends, it, the more help enlisted it, it, that we can get, the better the, the better our chances for success. And I'll get into more of that uh, down the road. But just, so that being said, with your doctor, some of the key things to work for. I want you to get out of the thought process. And this is where I think one of the reasons that most people fail at getting uh, at weight loss is stop thinking about losing weight. Stop thinking about it. I know that dieting and you've said to yourself, oh, I need to go on a diet. Oh, I need to lose some weight. I know that's what got you here. But I want you to stop thinking about that because, and we'll get into this more in the future too, but the thought, you've been programmed to believe that losing weight is hard, if not impossible. And you've been programmed that for a reason. You've been programmed that because the weight loss industry is huge. It's part of that crazy healthcare industry, which really, America, we don't make stuff anymore, right? We're a service uh, country now. We're a service industry country. And one of the, one of the big things is the medical uh, profession. Uh, and you can make the argument that, yeah, medication is not a service, it's a product, but, uh, and they are definitely pushing it. Their service of, of the medical profession, in my opinion, is to push the product of prescription medication. But that's neither here nor there, because, oh, well, by the way, I did advise you to go see your doctor, right? A avoid, personally, this is my personal thought, avoid, if possible, getting put on new medications, but that's between you and your doctor. Your doctor suggests it, you want to do it, Knock yourself out. I'm not a doctor. Personally, I uh, just not big on medications. I, I prefer natural, right? Uh, so that's neither here nor there. Consult a, consult a physician, though. Um, and as I've already said, really kind of the last thing that I want to say to you today, I don't want to, I don't want to get uh, too long-winded here. Um, I want to get off on the right foot. I want us to be motivated. I want you to be motivated. I want you to be excited. This is exciting. The fact that you've stuck with me for 13 minutes into this video, that's a good sign. It's a good sign. We're going to we're gonna get healthier, right? We're going to avoid saying we're, we're weight loss, right? But we're going to get healthier. That's the key, right? What are we going to lose? Well, we're going to look at lo losing fat. That's key. And uh, just getting healthier, right? So, um, so because I'm still a little under, under my time uh, threshold here. One of the things, well, here's a key. Here's a key little nugget, right? Losing weight really is very, very simple. Oh my God, no way. Then why are you fat? Why am I fat? Why is 70% of America fat? Well, I get into that. It's got to do with brainwashing. We've been brainwashed. We've been brainwashed. And it's got to do with uh, convenience, right? Uh, there's a fast food you know, place on every corner just about. The gas station sells junk food, right? Snacks, munchies. All of that crap, and I'm going to get into why your body craves these things. We'll talk about all of that stuff. But uh, the, at the end of the day, the important thing that I want you to take away from this, one, be motivated. Understand this is a good thing. Watch for more videos. Plan on every day we're going to do something. Now, I'm going to leave you with this thought. Einstein's definition of insanity is doing the same thing 
and expecting a different result. Now, why do I bring that up? I bring that up for this reason. If you do today what you did yesterday, then tomorrow you'll be in the exact same spot you're in today. Well, the upside is you watch this video, so you're seeking out help. And you know what? If it's not with me, if you find somebody that, hey, you know, that person, maybe it's a female, she's uh, better looking, you relate to her or whatever, that's good. Do something. Just do something. Keep doing something. Keep doing something every day. Now, if you stick with me, and I hope that you do, baby steps, baby. We're going to take baby steps. Baby steps is how I had a, a client once drag his shanty out onto the ice, right? Baby steps. Couldn't walk out on the ice. We got him to the point where he was dragging the shanty out onto the ice, right? You will get there too. You just have to say to yourself, it's not going to be hard. And it's not. It's not going to be hard. And I'm going to show you, right? We're going to talk it through. I'm going to be here with you, right? It's not going to be hard. You can do it and you will be a better person for it. God bless you. I love you, right? We're going to do this together. We're going to be successful, and Happy New Year, and we'll see you again tomorrow.